Blog Talk Radio.
it's spring. Well, this week, Wednesday, spring is here, 2019. We've been waiting, right? It's been a winter. Um, I've had the winter blues. I've had the winter flus. I've had it all, right? So um, I hope you're as anxious as I am to just get into the mix of the mix of spring. So I just wanted to talk to you about two of my favorite plus size stores that I like shopping at. Um, And you probably already know these stores. You probably, if you're that plus size fashionista or, you know, you keep your ear to the world of fashion, then I know you know. But if you don't, or if you just want to step out and do something different because you shop at other places, then just let me hold your ear for a second. The first one is Torrid. Torrid is a nice store. It, it, you know, I've always loved Torrid from the beginning. Torrid has redesigned their stores over the years, but before they <clears throat> they were here years ago and – um, I guess they had some problems, probably administratively, on, on how their business uh, structure was ran. So they were in the malls, and they shut down all the tours in Pittsburgh. And when they did before, I was like, some years ago, I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe they're taking away tour because they're so edgy. But it's all about plus size. Like, they all about the fat girl, you know what I mean? Like, they all about getting us dressed. Having us looking sexy, having us looking devilish, having us looking however we want to look, but at the same time feeling comfortable, not making us feel uncomfortable for wanting to be in, you know, for wanting to sport the fashions that's in style, for wanting to be the glam or glitz person that we like to be. So, um, yeah, Tori is definitely it. And uh, one of the best things I love about Tori is their, their shoes, their shoe wear. Oh, my goodness, their shoes, their sandals, their boots, it's all geared towards the plus size woman. They are most of the time, and I would say 99% of the time, they are very they're structurally made good, you know, so that they hold up under our weight and everything, and and they're cute as ever. I mean, you can find some of the cutest shoes at Torrid. I love it. And they're always, like, I mean, they're they're – always mixing and matching. So they're making sure that when you come in there, you can come out with a bag of clothes and shoes and whatever else that definitely um, will make his turn. And the second one I wanted to talk about real quick is Lane Bryant. Now, I remember when I was a little girl, and my mom was plus size, uh, rest in peace, before she passed away And in 2015. She was plus size, and she used to take us to Lane Bryant's all the time. I mean, she was a diehard Lane Bryant. And I used to wonder, like, Mom, like, you know, she wouldn't go nowhere else for her bras but Lane Bryant. And back then, right, I remember the bras back then. Oh, my goodness. We used to go down the steps in Pittsburgh. In downtown Pittsburgh, they had a Lane brand. And we used to go down the steps. And their bras, I used to be like, those bras are so huge, right? Those bras are the bras I'm wearing today now. <laughs> but anyway, uh, similar to them. Anyway, but um, but they were full coverage bras. So, you know, they were years ago. So, they weren't like the balconettes or the plunge bras or, you know, the little cutesy bras that we have, strappy and all that. They didn't have all that. They just had something that was going to hold them things in like a safety net. 
<laughs> like, we ain't letting them out. And um, y'all know what kind of bras I'm talking about. It was like had some little lace on it, I guess, to make it look like it was girly. But it almost looked like hospital bed type like bras. But anyway, uh, <laughs> my mom, she was a firm, you know, um, shopper and Lane Bryans, and she used to do that. And, and so, you know, in my age and I, I'm a firm supporter in Lane Bryan's inner bra section. Just, it's different now. I, I love their Kashyyyk line, um, especially, like, their sexy Kashyyyk line. Like, I like the strappiness when they have the strappies. I'm not too much into the balconette. The balconette is, like, a half of a bra. Uh, but I do love their plunge that, you know, will will uh, show off your cleavage and give you coverage, but give you just enough coverage to, like, make you yummy. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. But, yeah, that's, yeah, those are two of my spring and summertime favorites when it comes to like getting that wardrobe together ladies it's time and then speaking of bras like for you big busty ladies when your underwire starts peeking out right oh my goodness <clears throat> excuse me I'm sorry y'all I'm going to have a lot of coughing because I still have you know, some flu that I'm getting over. But um, when you, when you know, when your underwire starts peeking out, what do y'all do? You know, do you throw your bra away, period? I mean, well, <clears throat> for myself, I know what I do. I basically just pull that wire out because, <laughs> you know, that thing hurts. You know what I'm saying? When the when the underwire start poking out, it go into your skin. So you're like, and even though at the end, well, I know what Lane Bryan's bras. I don't know what other, you know, um, store bras, but I, I'm a big supporter of Lane Bryan's bras, and I know what their Kashyyyk line. They'll have like a little rubber tip. Well, the, the it'll be a little rubber tip over a piece of metal. And so it don't matter. It's metal just going into your skin. That stuff hurts. So in essence, I basically just pulled that wire out, and I use that bra like as a secondary bra. It no longer can be used like as a primary. Oh, I need to go out, and this is what I'm, you know, using as my undergarments. <laughs> and so. I um, recently started second thinking that, though. I started thinking maybe it might be a possibility uh, to save one or two of my bras that the underwire comes peeking out because I know a lady that sells bras, and she sells plus-size bras as well, and she was saying that, you know, some of her customers, when that happens, they just sew across. Now, it's not like I don't know about sewing because I know about sewing, but I just felt like, why? Like, <laughs> you know, but then I start thinking, kind of sounds, you know, doable. I mean, I don't know, ladies. What about y'all? So, <laughs> so have anyone out there? experience that and if you experience that what how do you deal with that because I know me myself I just I I, I really just I don't <laughs> I really don't but I think I'm losing out because you all know that those bras cost a lot of money <laughs> They cost a real lot of money. So, um, you know, if if I could save some coins, you know, especially trying to run a business, if I could save some coins, then that's what I'm going to do. Well, or that's what I'll look into doing. <laughs> I ain't going to say that's what I'm going to do because I feel like, I feel like is it going to, is it really going to help? 
you know, I don't want to be doing all that work and it's still, I still end up in the same situation, you know. So I don't know. Make sure y'all let me know what y'all do when that underwire fails you. (laughs) Anyway, we'll be right back. We'll take a short break, bosses.
when you go on and on. No love on a holiday. that makes so many of us feel physically inadequate. Say goodbye to your inner critic. 
and take this pledge to be kinder to yourself and others. Oprah goes on to say in her quote, this is a call to arms, a call to be gentle, to be forgiving, to be generous with yourself. The next time you look in the mirror, try to let go of the storyline that says you're too fat or too shallow, too ashy or too old. Your eyes are too small or your nose too big. Just look into the mirror and see your face. When the criticism drops away, what you will see then is just you. Without judgment, and that is the first step toward transforming your experience of the world. Oprah Winfrey. So, I mean, what do y'all think about that? You know, that was powerful. Um, well, you know, a lot of things are powerful coming from Oprah. She's a powerful woman, um, a very influential woman. And her, you know, Oprah herself has, you know, um, her weight has fluctuated, uh, especially in her first years <clears throat> in the media. And so, and now she she is in tune with herself. She is comfortable where she is at, and that doesn't mean that she doesn't struggle, but hey, she has found her medium, <laughs> and she looks good. So <clears throat> I just wanted to talk about that, just chat about it a little bit, chat about her quote and the importance of empowering yourself and actually tuning out to those negative chit chats that tell you you should be a certain way just like she said look in the mirror and just look at you don't worry about what others are saying about you because you can never live up to what they want you to live up to. You can only be a better you and only you know yourself. You know, people know of you, even your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, they know of you, but you know yourself. When a situation arises uh, that makes you feel a certain way, your body reacts and tells you. It doesn't go and siren and tell your mom or tell your dad, right? If if you feel extreme fear or if you feel because you always, you almost was in an accident or if you feel extreme like you just dodged a bullet, you know, um, per se, because something happened and maybe you just missed the accident or um, you know that something happened and maybe you were supposed to be there and you weren't there so you did not get negatively affected by it or anything. Um, your body automatically reacts and tells you, hey, it tells you, it signals to you what's going on. It doesn't signal that to no one else. Now, you can relate that to someone else. Oh, my God, I feel like this. Oh, my goodness, I feel like this. But your body tells you. So just remember that. Like, tune out all that negativity. So I, you know, encourage you. This is spring of 2019, and we just have to have a new start, right? And just as Oak. Oprah said it's the first step in transforming your experience of the world. And that's what we have to do. You know, we have to redefine, claim our joy, right? And live our best life that we want to live. We can't let everybody hold us back. <laughs> we can't let other people's negative thoughts hold us back. Don't do it. Don't you do it. We'll be right back. We're wrapping it you up. You and me, everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't believe we've had our way. But somewhere there's a light inside of us. It's your story. Not looking for no, no, no.
you know, we we air through all, all the 50 states and even outside of the country. You you guys got to come on. You got to get with the program <laughs> and make sure <clears throat> that you follow me personally at Fat Boss Life. That's F-A-T-B-O-S-S-L-I-F-E, Fat Boss Life. Follow me on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook at Sugar Mama's Cotton Candy on Facebook. Y'all got to follow me so you can know what's going on. We do this here, a radio show, mainly once a week, a couple times a month at least. And we're on social media daily. So, you got to get with the program. You got to follow. You got to call in. You got to be there and let us know what you need. You know, let me know what you need and how we can help you. Also, Boss Live Radio, make sure you tune in every Sunday to Boss Live Radio. So you can call in or you can listen to it on the web, but you can chime in live if you call in at 515 605 9365. You also can listen to a whole line of DJs from Boom Live Radio, which operates seven days a week, right? You can call in each night. Just make sure you hit up the Boom Live Radio host page on Facebook, and it will inform you of what DJ is on and what the topics will be about. We already know what Sundays is about. It's about boss stuff. It's about you being on your boss stuff, right? So ending tonight's show, I just wanted to speak a little bit on the spring colors for my fashionistas out there. Um, Sorry, fellas. (laughs) I don't have your colors. Do y'all have colors? I'm sure y'all have colors. So maybe I got to check into that. For y'all, but I know for the ladies, there are 12 primary spring 2019 colors and four neutral palettes. Okay, and so I'll just really briefly just read off, right? (laughs) I'll read off the colors, which are gorgeous. May I add? And here's another thing I want to add. I am a pink lover, right? Oh, my God. Pink is one of my most favorite colors. It's not my favorite color. And they have two pinks in this lineup, right? Oh, my goodness. I am loving it. They have what looks like a hot pink, and they also have what looks like a baby pink. I mean, where you going to go wrong with that? I can't. I just can't believe it. Uh, I'm in love with it. So anyway, um, the hot, the one that looks like a hot pink is pink peacock. That's the color that it's called. And the one that looks like a soft pink is called sweet lilac. And they actually say the sweet lilac is like a lavender infused with pink. And that's what makes it. But it looks totally pink. That's what it looks like. It doesn't even look like Lala. Anyway, so we'll read off. That was two of them. I'll read off the other ten real quick and then the neutrals, and we can get you on out of here. (laughs) So, okay, they have a color called Fiesta, and this is a festive orange red color. They have a Jester red. It is adding depth and intensity it kind of combines rich elegance with urbanity. So that's what the Jester red color is. It's like a burgundy to me. It's like a, a rich, a deep, rich um, red. Yeah, it's nice. Um, a turmeric. It says a turmeric is a enlivening orange that infuses a hint of pungency. Okay. All right, well, okay, we'll go with that. See, all these, I just call it this or that, right? And they just they they go into they go into a deep living coral. 
So that's like almost like a, a light peach to me, okay? Pepper stem. And that is green, but it's like a light money green, okay? That's what it is. It's like a light. If you look at a green pepper, the color is like a light green pepper. And we're, we're, how many? Oh, we got a few more. Aspen gold, it's like a bright yellow. Princess blue is like, is a royal blue. We have some nice colors, y'all. Toffee, oh my goodness. It is, it is like a light chocolate brown. It's like chocolate brown with just a little bit of cream in it, <laughs> right? It's like a milk chocolate. That's what it is, like a milk chocolate. So that's toffee, that color. Mango, mojito, and that's like a golden yellow. Um, Terium moss. Hmm. Terium moss. Is a green as well, but it's more like a gritty green. Like it's more like a dollar bill green, but dark, like deep, a deep dark like that. Um, that's how that's what it looks like. Um, and then we have four neutrals. So the four neutrals we have real quickly: soybean, which looks like an off white eclipse which is, looks like a navy blue, sweet corn, which looks like a pure white with just a dusting of iridescent. It just looks like, you know, pure. And then brown granite, and it looks like a dusty brown almost, like a strong brown, <laughs> like a ground coffee brown. <laughs> okay, so so that was, yeah. That is the color palette for this spring. I am excited. Like, what I'm going to do and what you may do is you may go in your closet, pull some of these things out or go in, you know, um, or go in your storage. And when you're pulling out your, your spring and summer clothes, these are some of the colors you want to pull out because these are what's going to be popping and what you're going to be able to mix and match with with the new pieces if you purchase new pieces in the store. So I'm excited to see what you all do with the palette. This palette actually comes from Pant Pantone Color Institute. So they put this out. They're the ones that actually forecast what colors are going to be like in New York Fashion Week and things of that sort each year. So, um, they're the ones <laughs> that you need to turn to, right? All right, bosses. This is looking like the end of the row for us already. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to miss you all. I really am. But I'm here every Sunday, so make sure you tune in every Sunday and follow me at Fat Boss Life on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Y'all got to do it.
I'm on my feet, don't you get it? And all my riders coming with me, baby. You know the times are changing, and I can't go on in search of all these payments. Yeah, I'm on my feet and I'm ready. And lately I've been trying hard to get it. Shame. 